The Cree knock fee system can create tissue-specific and inducible knockouts. This conditional gene modification system overcomes the problem of embryonic lethality or developmental issues resulting from knockouts occurring in all cell types or without temporal control by external signals. The cree knox p system uses the site-specific recombinase Cree, which catalyzes recombination between two 34-base pair DNA recognition sites named lox p that is, locus of crossing over, allowing for the selective deletion of the floxed gene. The cree knox p system relies on two genetically modified strains of the organism. A strain expressing the Cree recombinase may be created by transgenic or not in technology. The strain with the floxed allele involves the insertion of LOXP sites into the organism's genome via targeted genetic modification. In mouse models, a Cree mouse is mated with a floxed mouse and progeny heterozygous for the LOXP flanked gene and hemizygous for the Cree are then backcrossed to homozygous LOXP flanked gene parental mice. The F2 progeny, hemizygous for Cree and homozygous for the gene of interest flanked by LOXP sites, can express the Cree protein, which binds to the two LOXP sites and precisely removes the DNA between them, leaving a non functional or aberrant gene behind. To knock out the gene only in a specific tissue, Expression of Cree is limited to that tissue by using a tissue-specific promoter to express Cree instead of a constitutive promoter. Constitutive promoters express genes in all cell types continuously, which is required for, say, housekeeping genes that produce RNA and proteins for basic cellular functions. Meanwhile, temporal control over expression of the gene of interest may be achieved by using a modified Cree protein which is fused with the mutated ligand binding domain of the estrogen receptor. The fused Cree protein, called Cree-ER recombinase, is usually present in the cytoplasm in a form that binds to heat shock protein 90. When tamoxifen or 4,4-hydroxy tamoxifen is administered, the interaction is disrupted between HSB90 and Cree-ER, which allows Cree-ER to translocate to the nucleus, interact with the LOXP sites, and knock out the gene. The Cree Locks P system can also be used to remove DNA sequences that block gene transcription. The target gene can then be turned on in specific cells or at certain times.